And welcome to a day when we do feel compelled to tell you again that what is now the norm in Washington is not normal. And in many ways, it's very un-American. I can't believe I have to say it, but it is not normal, nor is it American, to call Jewish Americans disloyal if they somehow vote for the Democrats. It is not normal, let alone very American, to cancel a trip to Denmark because they won't sell us Greenland. After saying the trip to Denmark had nothing to do with buying Greenland in the first place. You gotta, I know you got to keep track of your denials from this White House sometimes. It is not normal to deny a tax cut is on the table, then confirm a tax cut is on the table, then again deny it all in the space of 36 hours and expect any of us to take you seriously. It is not normal that we can't take the president seriously because taxes in Greenland are just two in a long list of things. He's completely reversed himself on recently. Sometimes he reverses the reversals, try to keep up with the background check business. And maybe the most important and consequential piece of all of this, it is not normal for the Republican Party to enable this, to sit back. By not standing up, speaking out, elected Republicans are allowing the president to keep behaving erratically, abnormally, and in ways that are far from effective. And oh, by the way, conditioning the entire base of the Republican Party that somehow this is normal behavior.